here at the uh, UN Climate Change Talks in Bonn, um, and I have here in my hand the first copy of the um, negotiation text. So this is all of the ideas and agreements so far, and ultimately over the next six months, this will um, eventually be the final agreement. So I just wanted to maybe talk through the text a little bit to give a bit of an idea of what it is, what it includes, and what it means for where the talks are currently. Um, if we take a look at the text, um, you can see that it covers all of the main areas that we've been negotiating on. So for example, mitigation here, this whole section deals with what um, actions all countries are going to take to reduce their emissions to prevent further climate change. It also has a really important section on adaptation, particularly for an organisation like Trocra, this is where we'll be paying a lot of attention. Adaptation is about how developing countries are going to be supported to cope with the impacts of climate change. And then finally, this section here is also very crucial because it's about the finance, technology and capacity building that will really support adaptation and support mitigation. Now, as I said uh, to begin with, the negotiation text is made up of um, all of the ideas that are on the table at the moment. So, um, at the moment, it really, it doesn't really show the exact direction things are taking, but more what are all of the different options that are on the table. So, if we look at an example here, in this section, um, it's looking, this is about the um, target that rich countries are going to agree in order to reduce their, um, reduce their emissions. But as you can see, all of this text here in brackets is about completely different options. So it says by at least 25 to 40, by 25 to 40, by more than 25 to 40, in the order of 30, by at least 40, by 45. So there's lots of different options in there. Um, and what the negotiators will be doing over the coming months is starting to delete some of these options and agree a final one. Another thing maybe to point out is these two words, shall and should, these are very important and they appear quite a lot through the document. Shall is a very strong word, so that would be um, much more of a binding word. It means will or must, whereas should is more aspirational. So as an organisation, Troker will be looking for as many shalls as possible and getting rid of as many shoulds as possible. So where do we think it is in terms of the key things that Troker is looking for with, um, within the negotiations, what we ultimately want it to achieve? Um, the two main areas that we're interested in are adaptation financing and um, the actions that rich countries are going to take to reduce their emissions. So if we take a look at the adaptation financing, there are a couple of main issues that are important to us. Um, and they are around the generation of financial resources. A key point is how much money is going to be made available for developing countries as a result of this um, process. But what we see here is that any reference to actual figures only appears in the footnote in the text. So there is very little in terms of concrete um, figures and demands within this text. Another issue is um, whether this uh, money would be additional to ODA, that's the um, aid budget that, that rich countries give to uh, poor countries. And at the moment there is some text on the need for this money to be additional, but it's in those brackets. So there's still a lot of disagreement between the different parties on whether any finance would be additional to official aid or not. Um, and then finally, um, the other uh, main question is how will this finance be generated? And as we can see here from the document again, there is up to eight different options in the text. So we can clearly see, as of yet, there's still a lot of uh, different ideas on the table and a lot of disagreement still over how these kind of volumes of finance will be generated. So in terms of next steps, parties are um, today, for the first time, taking a first look through this document to give their initial responses, identify what issues they think are missing, um, and voicing support for some options over other options. So over the course of the next two weeks, they'll be debating this document thoroughly, and um, hopefully then by December, this 